Hi. So we're looking at cat. How to prepare for the verbal section? Today's topic is how to read effectively for cat. I mean, we know that reading is the most important thing for cat. But how do we go about reading effectively? So we'll just put on brief steps in terms of what you need to do with regard to preparation. First, the foremost important thing: create a reading habit. That's very very important. So only if you create a reading habit will you be able to further improve on that. And how do you create a reading habit? Read what you like. Enjoy your reading. That's what's important. You can read fiction, non-fiction. You can read articles based on your hobby. But read what you like. So if you like cricket, maybe you can read autobiographies of cricket personalities. You can read cricket news. A lot of other things. So look at what you're passionate about and read more about it. If you're in interested in technology, read magazines with regard to technology. Get interested in it. So that's how you create a habit of reading. Second, once you've created a habit of reading, next step is to focus on understanding the central idea of whatever you read. Maybe the central idea should come. Whatever happens normally when you read, we read for details. We glance through every word, every sentence, and then makes it slow. So if you focus on reading the central idea, that becomes a little faster because then you focus on central idea, and that is what is tested in the actual cat also. So read for central idea. Learn to skim. Or read fast in some places. So there'll be some which are not important. Some para, some places. Read fast or skim. Some places it's important for the central idea. Read slow. So learn to read fast in some places. Once you do that, the next step is to read from diverse topics. I mean, what happens in CAT is the topics are from diverse areas. So and we find that a student from one area find it difficult to read from other area. So science students may find difficult to read psychology, and same way. Arts one may find difficulty in reading science. Each topic has its own vocabulary, so you need to get. I'm not saying you have to master the vocabulary, but just know the topic a bit. I mean, look at the topics that have come in the previous CAT examination. Maybe you can pick up those topics and just glance through it, read it, just that you are familiar with the language of that particular topic. It helps you. The moment you are familiar with the language, it helps you read the topic a little fast. Once that is over. Next step would be to appreciate the different structures. Now there are different structures when you read. I mean, different authors uh, subscribe to different type of writing, because they have their own styles. So know the different styles of writing, okay? Because different passages are written differently. Sometimes what happens? The central idea is at the start. Sometimes it is in the end. Okay. Also, if you look at sometimes the authors try to explain the whole thing with an example. Some other times he explains with sar being sarcastic. So different authors have different styles. The moment you understand the style of different authors and the structures that they have followed, your understanding of the passage becomes faster. You know what is important, where is important, where it's not, and your understanding becomes better. So learn to understand the structures. It's the fourth part. So follow these four steps. Okay, make a habit of reading. Okay, once you do, focus on central idea. Learn to read a little bit fast. Third, read on diverse areas. And fourth, appreciate different structures that are there in RCs, right? And once you understand the structure, what the author is trying to communicate, you should be able to understand it better. Yeah, that's what the topic is. I hope this is clear. So follow this, and this should help you with regards to creating an effective reading habit. Thank you.